All right, we're back. Uh, we're going to do a video on the Culpin Outdoors uh, Chainsaw Press. So I don't have a side-by-side -side or anything like that. Um, and I like to do some trail maintenance on our snowmobile trails out here. So I figured instead of bungee cording a chainsaw to the back of this and having it sail off into the uh, woods when I'm driving, um, we should put on a mount. So I have not opened this yet. There's really not a heck of a lot of things uh, like this out there. I mean, there's some, but they look kind of not good. So we're going to see if this one is decent. I think the price point on it was 60 or 70 bucks. I don't remember, but basically it came in a destroyed box. Um, I don't know. We're going to open it. We'll see what it says. Okay, so this is what comes out of it. Um, basically, you got your directions. Hopefully, they are in English. They kind of are. All right. Uh, we got the plate here that the saw gets scrimped into, and then this is what kind of hooks to your uh, machine. So I'm going to read on the directions a little bit and figure out where I should attach it to this thing. I'm going to guess probably this bar instead of this bar. Um, I don't know. We're going to find out. All right, so here's the deal. Got this all bolted in. They only give you three bolts and nuts, so all those other holes, good luck to you. Um, this is the only way that it can work. It won't go around this uh, rear bumper I have, so what's going to have to happen is it's going to attach to there, and that should be fine i guess i don't i don't know maybe throw a zip tie or two around it but they don't give you uh the u-bolts big enough for these bigger bars so we're gonna attach it down and see how it looks see how it does and then we'll adjust from there okay so ended up doing uh two u-bolts obviously the washers and nylon lock nuts and they're just like that but it doesn't move at all because I tightened it enough. So honestly, I'm going to just leave it as is uh, through the this knob on here. Uh, basically, you loosen it and then you can swivel it out of the way and your saw, you know, stays there. So this is actually pretty good. Saw doesn't move at all. I'm not worried about it, you know, impaling me or anything like that. So we're going to bring her out in the woods today and see how it does um i'm pretty excited about it because you know the whole bungee cord thing i already told you about that but yeah that's about it on this video um we're going to use it and then i'll give my review okay so we're out on the trails uh i've got a couple little branches here that uh hang kind of low when the snow comes down um especially if there's ice so we'll just clean up these couple of little trees here and basically uh what you do is you push this lever over here like this, and it unclamps, and you get your saw off. So, honestly, it works. Could it be better? Yes. Uh, but I think it's kind of the best one that you can get. Um, my saw got here. It didn't shake it to death. So, I'd say it's worth it. This is a 2018 Polaris Sportsman 570. So, we'll work with your machine if you have this. So good news, the bridge made it through the season, the off season rather, and uh, we're just riding these trails to make sure everything's looking good before we uh, start getting ready for winter here. It's pretty close. Okay, so we found some branches that were hanging really far over the trail, kind of like that you'd hit in the face with, you know, because the sleds are pretty tall nowadays. So we just cut those up and we're going to drag them off the side of the trail and move along down the road. It looks like this bridge mostly made it too. It's getting a little thin in a few spots. We're gonna ride up there and check out this spot right here. And could probably nail something over that. So we'll make a note of that and we'll come out and fix it another time. 